Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Tommy Starr here. Thank you for clicking on this video because today is a very special video. Finally, I'm going to show you guys the Blu-ray release of my all-time favorite movie. <laughs> It has been about two weeks since I last uploaded a video, and for those of you who may remember, we went on a family vacation to Tucson, Arizona, and we just got back yesterday, late last night, and I was absolutely beat from the drive. It was two days to get there, two days to get back, and we spent about five days in Arizona, so... About a 10-day trip. We had so much fun. Lots of memories. The kids had a blast. As I mentioned, we went and saw the Grand Canyon. Never seen that before. What a sight to see. And then we drove an additional four hours, or more like five hours, to get to Tucson, Arizona, where my childhood best friend lives, whom I haven't seen in over 20 years. So it was amazing to see him again. We became friends when I was like 11 and he moved to Arizona when I was about 16, something like that. And I saw him a couple times after that. He came back to visit. But yeah, it's been uh, about 20 years since I've seen him and his mother. So that was amazing in itself. But the overall trip was just absolutely incredible. And I could go on and on talking about it. But kids had a great time. I mean, it wasn't all perfect. Uh, the heat was just treacherous, so, so hot, so humid, believe it or not. And I know Arizona is not typically humid, but it was when we were there. A lot of storms were going on as well. But the scenery was beautiful, this, you know, mostly in Arizona, but even traveling into Arizona. You know, we went through, I believe, Iowa, Nebraska, Colorado, Utah, and then Arizona. And then on the way back, we decided to take a different route and we went through New Mexico, up through Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, and then back into Minnesota. But the road trip itself was awesome. Like I was mentioning the scenery, the Colorado Rockies, never seen that before. It was just such a sight to see, totally mind blowing. But yeah, overall, just an awesome trip. We had so much fun. Cannot wait to go back there, but it is good to be home. And now that I'm here, it's time to do some more videos. I got a lot of catching up to do, and I, I figure the first video is going to be showing the Blu-ray release of my all-time favorite movie because it kind of has something to do with my trip to Arizona, and I'll explain that here in a second. But before we get into everything, if you guys have not subscribed yet to the channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you guys are notified every time a new video gets uploaded. And if you enjoyed this video here today, give it a thumbs up. About a month or two ago, I did a video talking about the announcement of this movie. And I talked about why it's my all-time favorite movie and a cool little video if you guys missed it. I'll put that down in the description box so you guys can go check that out. But it's finally here. This actually came out last Tuesday, the 20th, but I wasn't here to get it. But I've already opened it up. I'm still in shock that finally, after all these years of hoping, I finally got it. So number 20 in the Vestron Video Collectors Series, and that is The Wraith with Charlie Sheen. So I'm not really going to talk much about this movie because I do in that other video that I'm going to put down in the description box where I go into full detail about the movie, why I love it, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, here it is in its glory with the slipcover. And I got two of them. Uh, I don't typically do this, but the reason why is because one, it's my favorite movie. Two, I'm going to open one and keep that with the other Vestrons on the shelf that I watch. And then the other one will remain sealed 
uh, as a display piece uh, upstairs here in my movie collection. So, yes, I got two of them. Now, overall, the slips seem to be okay. The only thing I noticed is down here, a little bit of a damage here. But here's a look at the back if you guys want to read about the movie. It came out in 1986. There's our special features, which I cannot wait to check out. It's going to be great. I'm just still, like I said, in awe that I'm holding this movie on Blu-ray. This is just absolutely amazing. So awesome. Highly recommend the movie. Give it a, you know, give it a watch. Give it a try. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be the greatest movie you've ever seen, but you will have fun with it. It's definitely worth a one-time watch at least number 20 in the Vestron line. So anyways, now the reason why I wanted to show you in this particular video, because it's kind of strange the way it worked out that when they announced that this movie was coming to Blu-ray, I had already made plans to go to Arizona. We've already made the dates and everything was set. And then it was like a month or two later they announced that this movie was coming to Blu-ray. And the actual release day just happened to be the day I arrived in Tucson. And big coincidence, but the reason why that is such a coincidence is because this movie was actually filmed in Tucson. And in the movie, they call it Brooks, Arizona, but it's just a made-up city. It's actually in Tucson and, you know, all, all in Tucson and a little bit outside of Tucson on the, um, on the outskirts, uh, a lot up in like the mountains and things like that for most of the race sequences. And I thought it was so cool that this movie, my all time favorite movie was finally coming to Blu-ray on the day I arrived in the city that it was filmed in. So of course my buddy and I went around and, um, uh, uh, did a few little movie location scenes. Now I wanted to do a lot more, but we did not get the time being a family vacation. I spent time with the family and there was one particular day where me and my friend spent a couple hours just kind of going off doing our own thing, just the two of us. And I left Jess and the kids with uh, my friend's mom and they just kind of hung out at the hotel swam in the pool, had some fun getting in, uh, getting to know each other. And uh, my friend and I decided to kind of spend a day together, just kind of, you know, reminiscing, uh, you know, because it had been so long since we've seen each other. So we just kind of hung out and decided to uh, go off and uh, look for the movie locations because this was a favorite movie, uh, movie of his growing up as well. We watched it together a lot as kids. And so he was totally down for that. But... A lot of the locations are pretty spread apart, especially the stuff like way up in the mountains. Uh, it was quite a drive for most of it, so I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to. We ran out of time, and I'm hoping that the next time I end up going back to Arizona, we'll, we'll get some more footage. But I did happen to get to three locations. Well, technically four. One of them was the airplane graveyard that they call uh, one particular scene took place there and we went there, but you can't really get in and it's so big and there's so many areas of Tucson that are part of the airplane graveyard that we, there was really no way of knowing positively where it was actually filmed, but we, we seen it and we just didn't know where to go and we couldn't get in anyway. So, but the other three locations I did film and I put together a little, uh, a little video of these three locations, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Again, I apologize that it wasn't more, but I got as much as I could. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to cut through to that so you guys can take a look at a few locations from my all-time favorite movie, The Wraith. Check it out. All right, we're over here at Carrie's house, which definitely looks a lot different from the movie. And the movie, they had grass that they apparently just put in for the movie, but as you see, there's no grass here, but right about here is where 
Charlie Sheen would have came down on his motorcycle and would have stopped right here as Carrie was walking out of her house. There was a, like a little white fence around it. Well, she would have came out, out of the out of the door there and just came walking down the sidewalk and then Jake would have just pulled up right here on his bike. Right here, would have been behind Charlie Sheen when he's talking to her on the bike. That's kind of a cool looking house. But this is on, I believe it's 2128 East 5th Street here in Tucson. Look at all these palm trees. He would have headed back down that street. This is where the copper dam, and she said, yeah, you're right up there, you take the Willow River cutoff, which is not really up the street. That's a whole other side of Tucson. That's pretty far from here, but this is Carrie Johnson's house. This is where her and Jake met for the first time. This is just mind blowing. I'm sure people are probably looking at me like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> we are now over at another famous location from the movie. And it's not really gonna look too familiar at first, but right about here is where Big K's Burgers was. Which of course, it's no longer here. It's been, you know, torn down since then. And I don't know if it was, the building was there when the movie was filmed and they, they just turned it into a Big K's, but uh, it's since been, taken down, but this is about where it was. I mean, this could be the parking lot where the girls rode around on the skates. I mean, as far as like where Pagger and his gang kind of hung out, I mean, who knows where that could have been. It could have been anywhere around here. You know, this, this whole area here could have been the parking lot. I'm assuming this is the road where they all took off. Like when they found the Wraith and Packer gets in his car. He's on Lookout Mountain Road. Let's go. They probably all took off and head down this road here. And, uh, you know, I'm sure right about here where my car is parked is probably where they all pulled in together. And the big haze is just right there. And then we look across the street. You see that building there with all the graffiti. That was the motel that was across the street. That you would have seen in the background in some scenes. So. Yeah. So this is the main road that they, they take to get to Big K's right here. I wish it was still here, or at least the building. But it is hard to pinpoint exactly I'm assuming right about here is probably where they all kind of hung around talking about them. You know, uh, this dude's into us for about 13,000 bucks. Got our boy and Skank are complaining. I'm assuming right about here is probably where like Billy came pulling down in his car and uh, they were giving Billy shit. They're probably just all standing right about here. about wanting to race Billy and he was saying no and then I'm assuming it's probably the same area where Packard beat the shit out of Billy you know it was kind of like at this angle because you could see the cars were all parked here I mean it could have been somewhere right here on the ground where Billy fell and he started kicking him it would have been right about here and then he gets back up and everybody's standing in the background here you bastard chicken shits. You let them take her. No, right about here. So, pretty cool. And another thing is the at the end of the movie, the, the car, the Dodge, would have been, you know, probably parked right around here. And that's where uh, Jake would have taken off on the dirt bike and yelling back, Billy, instructions are in the glove compartment.
But yeah. Here we are, Big K's Burgers. Pretty, pretty awesome. Well, there's the sign to the Cienega Bridge for another location of the Wraith. If this looks familiar to anybody, this is the road that the Wraith was coming down when the cops car, cop cars were chasing him after he killed Minty. And uh, the cop, you know, the cops are talking back and forth between Loomis and his deputies, and they're like, yeah, we're coming at you at 100 miles an hour. They were coming from that way, this way, over that hill. Right where that car is coming, you see. And then they, he came all the way down this way. And up over there on the other side of that bridge is where they had the barricade. Where they were trying to stop him. Right where that truck went. So we're going to try to get up over on the other side of that bridge where the barricade was. But if you guys can see, there's that big train bridge over there. You kind of see that in parts of the movie to the left. So here we are walking across the bridge. Pretty high bridge. And this is right about here. I'm assuming is where the wraith stopped when he seen the barricade. And then Loomis was like, we got him trapped, man. Give him a few moments, he'll realize it too. And then he just kicked it down. Smashed right through the barricade, which is up here a little ways. So here we are at the end of the bridge. And uh, I'm assuming that this rail here, I don't think this was here because the cop cars are kind of parked off to the right and the left and barricading the street. And then to go this way, that's where the wraith was parked, right there in the middle of the bridge when he stopped. And then he just came flying through, and then the barricade would have been, the police car barricade would have been right about here. And he just smashed right through and headed up that way. And then I think when they decided to chase him from that point, and then he went all the way down the street and kind of disappeared up into the sky, which freaked out, uh, you know, Sheriff Loomis. Once you get up past that, that's nothing from the movie. They actually chased him in a different location, but. So yeah, here it is. So this was probably gonna be the most memorable scene. And where that car's coming right there, that's where the Wraith would have came flying down the hill. So pretty cool. Beautiful scenery around here. They definitely picked a cool location. So there you have it, everybody. The Wraith filming locations, as many as I could get to. That was Carrie's house, uh, Big K's Burgers, and then one of the scenes out on the road with uh, the Wraith and the, um, uh, the police cars and stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I just kind of threw it together. I've never done a filming location video before, so... I couldn't exactly do it the way I wanted to. I just threw in a few stills from the movie to kind of compare, but there's a lot better videos out there on YouTube that you guys can watch that puts mine to shame, but I did the best I could. I had fun with it, and again, really wish I could have gotten more scenes, especially that uh, opening sequence with uh, Charlie Sheet coming down on the, on the dirt bike, uh, which I believe is out on... Catalina Highway, I believe, which was a good ways away from uh, where we were. So either way, I'll get there one day. I'll get back to Arizona and I'll do a lot more uh, locations for you guys. So, all right, that'll wrap it up for this video. My all-time favorite movie finally came to Blu-ray. Cannot wait to check this out. Cannot wait to check out the special features. I'm just happy uh, holding this in my hands. This is really a dream come, come true uh, for a movie collector. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have seen The Wraith. Let me know if you guys have ever been out to The Wraith locations. Uh, do you guys live out there in Tucson? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you would, share the video around. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.